Hey everyone, welcome back to another video by Hard Yakka Fishing. I've had a lot of questions about recreational fish tagging and how to get involved as well as what to do when catching a fish that has a tag. So in today's video, I'm going to cover some of the basics about sun tag and what it's all about, as well as how you can get involved or how to record and submit uh, tag info for tagged fish. So stick with me and I hope this video covers a lot of the questions that you all have. To start, jump onto your search browser and type Suntag into the search bar. You should see Suntag, the future of fishing, located at the top as I'm showing here. Click the Suntag page and it'll bring you to the Suntag homepage. On the homepage you can click on any of the headings to navigate through the website to any areas of interest. To start with, I'm going to talk about the different tagging clubs you can join and some of the benefits. When you join a local club, you're able to participate in challenges as well as meeting up with other tagging members. Some groups hold meets and tagging trips in different locations, targeting different species and having group competitions. Some will hold monthly draws where you can score some great lure packs and other fishing gear. For more information, check out each club here. As I don't always have time with the young fella at home, I'm a member of the Sun Taggers, which is an organisation for fishers that want to be involved in tag and release in Queensland, but not join a club. And now how to join. From either the Sun Tag or Sun Taggers homepage, click on the heading Join Sun Taggers or the Get Involved tab. This will bring you to the Memberships and Tagging Kit page. The adult membership price is $75 for 12 months and you can add additional family members to the membership but the main applicant will be the primary member. Junior memberships are $30 for 12 months which are for young anglers 16 years and under. After you're a member you'll receive an info pack along with your member details and how to get started. Memberships do not include the tagging equipment and are purchased separately. There are two main starter kits. The gun starter kit is $85 which includes the Mark III tag gun, waterproof tag record book, pen, 80cm ruler and comes with 50 tags. The standard kit is $45 which includes the push type hand applicator, waterproof tag record book, pen, 80cm ruler and I'm pretty sure it also comes with 50 tags to start with. If you go back to the home page and select the tagging tab, there are some basic videos on how to use both of these tagging applicators. And now on to the next part, which I believe to be the most important part of the tagging program. That is recording and sending recaptured fish tag info back to InfoFish so the data can be added to the database. It's super easy and only takes a minute. If you go back to the SunTag homepage, you'll see an icon for recapture or at the top an icon for report. Click on either of these and it should take you to the InfoFish recapture sheet. Here you will fill in as much information as you can about the fish starting with the tag number, species, length, date of capture and a general location of where the fish was caught, for example the Boyne River mouth. Recaptured fish are fine to keep and I encourage everyone to help out by at least spending a few minutes to help contribute to the knowledge of the fish and to add to the database. You can also attach pictures of the fish which will be displayed along with the number of days since being caught and the growth rates on the home page map. It's really quite simple to collect the tag and fish info and here's a quick way I tend to do it to minimise stress to the fish. Everyone has a phone these days so it's easy to snap a quick photo of your fish on a brag metal ruler. You can use this to get your measurement from later when entering the data. I also take a clear picture of the tag number afterwards so I know which fish it belongs to. Sometimes the tags have been on a fish for a long time and can have weird or growth on them. Without pulling on the tag, use your fingernail or something to rub off the growth until you can see the tag number. Sometimes when the fish have been tagged small and have grown over time, the tags can only be partially visible as the fish grows around the tag. These tags do have the number right at the end so it's still possible to ID the tag. And now for the best and most interesting part that I love about tagging. When you submit the tag information, you'll receive the whole history of the fish, including the original date tagged, the general location and distance travelled, the time since recapture and the growth rates during that time. You'll also receive a recapture certificate which contains more detail. Now remember that if tag information isn't recorded and added to the database, it makes it difficult to learn more about our favourite species and how we can improve the fishery. So take the time down to the information and learn the history of the fish. I think most of you will find it rewarding while also contributing to the understanding of the fishery and our waterways.